Hello and welcome to Incredible Invert Some Other Animals with me, Phil. Now firstly I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel so far. I've just gone over 150 subscribers. Every single one means a hell of a lot to me. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications. Now in this video we're going to have a look at another species of isopod. This time we're going to have a look at the clown isopod. So, let's take a look. Okay, so here we have the clown isopod or Armadillidium clugae Montenegro. Now, as their scientific name suggests, these do come from Montenegro and also countries like Croatia as well and other countries along the coastline of the Adriatic Sea. Now, these are a very attractive species of isopod which makes them quite popular in captivity and their coloration kind of lends to their name of the clown isopod uh, because they are brightly coloured and they're one of the more affordable sort of brightly coloured attractive species of isopod that's out there they're kind of almost middle of the range in terms of uh, price or at least that's what I've found um, so there are some that are obviously a lot more expensive than these guys and there's loads that are really quite attractive that are a lot cheaper as well and I'll start off with a group of 10 of these which I got from the spot shop which I'll put a link down in the description uh, to their website and in the space of a few months I now have well over a hundred of these um, so they've bred really really well for me now as with all isopods or at least most isopods they thrive on decaying organic matter so dead rotten leaves as well as rotten wood lichens mosses and then also supplementary feeding with things like slices of potato carrot other vegetables also things like fish flake um, and also I've been using a supplementary diet from bioactive herbs um, called bug boost again I'll put a link in the description to their website and that and bug boost is a powdered diet I thought I'd give that a go see what I make of it and all my isopods that I currently keep absolutely love it so they do get this occasionally as well and uh, they clear that up in no time at all now but now with a lot of isopods Ventilation is key, so these guys like it really nicely ventilated uh, so that the air doesn't get stuffy. Um, and then in terms of humidity, I keep one end of the enclosure slightly damp and then one end of the enclosure dry so they've got that choice. So they do need moisture so that they can breathe, uh, without the moisture they actually can't breathe at all. And then the uh, cork bark I put kind of across from the moist end to the dry end so they can choose where they want to be Another they tend to spend most of their time underneath the bark Another that's expected of most isopods these guys in the wild would be found underneath bits of bark under logs and stones and stuff and un under there tends to obviously be that little bit more moist than out in the open but they will come out in the open to grab little morsels of food and then retreat back underneath the bark to the way and these can make great additions to bioactive enclosures with larger invertebrates or reptiles, amphibians, or as I am with these guys, keeping them just by themselves. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that look at the clown isopod. And as always, hopefully, you'll agree with me that they are amazing little things, absolutely beautiful little isopods. Now, as I started off with 10, and they have bred so far um, quite well. Oh, so they are seemingly quite easy to keep um, so far, well, in my uh, short experience in keeping the species. And they've quickly become one of my favourite species uh, of isopod that I currently keep. So, if you really like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. And also, please do leave some comments down below. Do you keep isopods? Which ones do you keep? Or are you looking to get isopods? Um, maybe the clowns will be the ones that will tempt you over to the isopod keeping world. So, and as with so many isopods, they make great additions to other enclosures. So with reptiles and amphibians and even larger invertebrates to just create that bioactive uh, environment. And also creates more interest as well in enclosures. Or as I'm keeping with these guys at the moment. They're great just to keep by themselves uh, with the tank and they're absolutely great fun to watch. You know, I love turning over the bark every now and then and just seeing how many there are. There always seems to be an explosion of isopods. So, until next Sunday, 
I'll see you. Have a good week. Goodbye.